Hello everyone, and welcome back to Knights of the Old Republic 1. I will say we are literally over halfway through this part of the series. And I know most of you are like, God damn, really? You're taking this long? It's like, yeah, I know, I know. But unlike the last for Revan, we got two Hanyu's quests completely out of the way now. And that guy's death was supposed to be the end of it. Which now we don't have to worry about it. How many computer spikes do I have actually right now? Wow, out of 50, I still have 15. Holy crap, dude. So remember the episode before, the last episode we defeated the Sith base, the episode before Kenoharadon was defeated, and the episode before that was Juhani's finale quest. So we might, we're still going to do a certain thing where we don't kill it off, because A, it's important we don't. And B, I really don't want to kill something that large. I know my main quest in the entire game is to kill off every monster creature. Make Toki and I look. Alright, Merlin. Here it is. What has the Republic done? The fact that's my only line I have to say. Sir, are you caked out of your mind? Do I need to talk to your, your higher up? You violated the treaty. Not lying. <laughs> Why have you not investigated? Yeah, how do I get down there? Kono Nolan? Alright, don't tell me that's gonna do like two quests at once. 
Yeah, there's that and there's that. But thankfully, this had nothing to do with it. Which is kind of interesting, but... Oh no, what happened to him? I want to see if I can, uh, you know, find the info around here. I'm gonna be evil. Oh. No. Okay. Uh, one, two, that's plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six. Minus three, minus two, minus one, minus zero, plus one, plus two. Times two, times two, times two, times two, times two. Divide two, divide two, divide two, divide two. Oh, um, shit. There's one, there's 32. Six eighty one nine. Sixty four is eight. Twenty five is five. Let's see. Oh, Jesus. One point oh minus eight point three. Oh god lord. Yeah, I know. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize that leveled up. Doy. 17. So, again, treat injury and persuade. That's unfortunate. I think you... Okay. 8, 17, 18, 19, 20. If I did that, that's all I would get to is 20. Whatever. So it would see honestly neither only one ability out of all that I only need. I can't talk to you. I've got to get this local radio station. I'm sorry, I'm on duty, citizen. Please refer any questions to our incoming team. Thank you. See, okay, I've never looked up the logistics thing about that, or the rhythmic. See, at least you can tell at least four out of the six questions I could complete myself. I can legitimately complete it myself. Oh yeah, this too. This is one of the cool cutscenes I never, I want to show you. Because it's only one of the few times... That makes me feel like it's episode one. The Phantom Menace. Where they're going to Gungan City. Man. So. From what I can gather right here. Something was strong enough that they chucked this out of the water. I mean, like, they straight up chucked the submersible out of the freaking water. Threw it up there. Causing this to technically collapse. Ah, uh, what was it? Ah, oh, good lord, whatever. Well, I'm trying to remember what the button was to do that. I'm sure the star, calm yourself down. What happened here? <sighs> 
What happened to the scientists? Let's get you back to the, to the surface. I have to get into the station. Tough call. Tough. I need to open. Whatever, fool. Ain't no one coming down here. I have the only submersible active now. Iron, 35 credits, and a thermal detonator. Talk about score. So technically I should have had T3 for this job right now. Nothing you can do in there, which is funny. Oh yeah, right. Oh, we're in. Wait, really? That's a computer security room. Okay. I find it funny. I see it all the way over here. Yeah, I give Jolie Wendu's blade. Insane cell calf. Hmm. Wait, where is... I'm sorry, could someone explain that to me? Someone explain to me how a what well, looks like a dark Jedi was down here. <sighs> oh wait, what did he do? What is that effect? I actually. Wow. No, I, I'm one hundred percent 
positive. I have never seen that effect symbol. What happened? Wait, yeah, no, let's, uh... And to advance gravity. Oh, shit. Oh, that's cool. Oh, no, no, that's freedom. Oh, wow. I'm actually enticed on that. It looked like a star forge. The symbol looked like it was a star forge. Force uh, flows through me. No, do it. Hmm. Totally. Can you walk the ladies around? such a great gentleman you are. Think about, think about the Jedi Consular though, it's this. They have a larger amount of force than most of the others. Oh. Well, not only I didn't realize that wasn't being seen, so... Mmm. Arcane, an Arcane energy shield. And approved scope. So I'll say once I will come back down with HK and T and uh yeah Candorus. I'm gonna take care of that whimpering little locker. So they fight each other. Okay, so I'm gonna look at both those memos. Why are they up in here or no? Okay, but look. I'll let me use. This device emits a powerful sonic pulse useful for scaring off or stunning various wildlife. It normally has an extremely limited range, but in an underwater environment, the signal would pause would travel quite a distance. <laughs> has been proven to be has been proven quite lethal to several species of barracks and sharks so we have two versions which is cool oh yeah because I never showed off the token that's technically true okay but wait, I meant to do this though In response to those fraction shark outside, I ten I managed to whip up a little something in one of the workrooms. The sonic mirror should scare them off. The sound seems to work better, a lot better underwater than through the air. If you let it, if you fix it on the outside of the viral suit, just push the button every time they get near and you'll have no problems. So I was wondering, when I am going to get that raise? Hey, Jor Cal Jordan. Sorry, bro. You ain't getting the raise, apparently. Actually, quite the opposite. You're dead. It's like all these guys. Did I look at this right? 
Yeah, okay. Not like, yeah. On the life drain. Oh, the droid ion pistol. Can't wait to get the layer games next game where you actually can just use the force on the mines and destroy them. I like that idea. Did I already get my? Oh wait, I do not have that suit yet. Actually, that's correct. I'm sorry. But y'all are gonna get blown up. That soon it's just gonna be me for a bit. I don't believe me, that doesn't look like anything's out there. I know. So they're both been poisoned by the Firaxin. I mean, sorry, Cellcath, because the Cellcath have little poison barbs on there. Oh, you seriously kidding me? Okay. Yeah. Alright, so let me look. Security room. Airlock. Two airlocks, so I'm trying to figure something. I can exit these ones, right? I'm trying to remember. Because there was one where you entered back the rail, and that was it. One could be an entrance only and not an exit. But yeah, remains, yes. I'm going to figure out do I have it yet? Okay, I do. You only have one viral, men viral suit available. If you pr proceed through the airlock, all party members will have to stay behind until you return. Cool. Leave party members and begin the airlock sequence. Pressurizing airlock chamber. Success. Releasing airlock seals. Success. This is why I was wondering, because you guys remember the last time with Revan, right? Well, the door, yep.
Yeah, this video might at least hit 40 minutes. But, you know, the, sad, the funny part is I'm okay with that. I actually like a long... I actually do like certain videos of mine being okay long. Especially if you have a scenario like this. Where your movement speed has literally been halved. It feels as if I've been hit by the advanced generator, but with a little less effect. Whoops. Remember, we are going to keep the giant Baraxan alive. Never in my true until I hit the full. Like, I do every, every, everything dark. Is when I will kill the Baraxan. Not gonna like it. I'm actually gonna be very heartbroken by it because I've never once killed it. Or if I did, I quickly reloaded the save and did the good. Because I felt legitimately bad. The creature just living its life, getting murdered because a bunch of, uh, let's say, invaders. Wanted. Thank goodness. I am sure the star. The Republic sent us down to investigate. What are you doing in the underground section of the facility? Or why? You wait here, I'll go check it out. I'm sorry, sir. I don't think it's even safe out there. But, okay, I'll meet you over there in a minute. I'm just gonna unlock more of my map. Because always having the max op maxed out map is what I want. Nothing stays hidden to me. I like the little lights on the side of your head. So, okay, this is that other one that we saw earlier. So, the one that we were, I was being a bit cautious on, is the one I was thinking of. So, wait, can I, wait, is there more I have to go on the other side? Yeah, okay, hell no. I'm going, we're going, we're, we're just gonna go with see homeboy and see what, see him get killed. See, I would have loved just to see his body just float to the top. Like if they just left his body on the... Float away. So I'm just going to say the funny part 
No matter what game you play in this, there's always only a point where only you can go. Oh my god. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, that just looks kinda freaky. Wait. Ability of completionist. Unlock every bit. You got all of quests done. Loot, loot, loot. That be at the way. Unfortunately, I'm a sorry, little buddies. Y'all got to die. All oh, right, I can just press that button. See, as long as I can keep the... I don't know. I don't have to even use the mouse anymore. I just need the mouse to click on stuff. Got three more. I like how the Fraxon's just hiding in there. Like, I am safe in my fish tank. I am safe in my giant fish tank. I'm honest though. I'm honestly wondering. Is that even large enough for a Fraxon to stay in? I'll deal with little buddy in the tank. Homie, I'm sorry to say. See, I only need nerve amplifier, so that means uh effect of mine does not work. And that's the welded door on this side, still welded. It's gonna say, can I open, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much the same thing, cannot be open. Uh, it went through the machine. It really just went through the machine. I kind of want to get them both together so I can just do it once and see if I can kill them both. Darn, not gonna happen. It never happens. I'm sorry, but it never gets to happen. Never get to do an AoE strike. This work. Die. Okay, let's move forward then. See, I genuinely don't think it matters on this point. I think either way I go, they're gonna do what they do, and I'm not gonna be happy. Uh, it looks decent. <laughs> oh, come on. You let me see the pressure door from like two miles out.
Uh, yes. I'm an ass. Speaking of Sonic. I am an ass. I am an ass. That's what happens when I actually use my grenades for how they are. Uh, it's that problem again, everyone. Give me a sec, huh? I have to save anyway. Yes. And we'll reload that. And boom. Asshole. Put this door, yes. Again. Okay, that. Then, yes. That. Ooh, someone's in. Someone's not getting hit this time. Oh, you sneaky, sneaky snake. I give you the award of catching me off guard. Congratulations. How do you feel? Being the only one to catch me off guard on that. Okay, now let's look at the environment suit. This is a variant of the standard model Enviro suit used to protect its occupants from hostile environmental conditions. In case of, it had been, f in this case, it's been specifically modified to withstand tremendous undersea pressures. Interesting. And this is where that other side we would come into would be. You gotta drop and loot like out the wazoo. Interesting. Door. Foot locker one. Foot locker two. And two cryobands. Darn it. Hello, people. No, you're not, no, you're not. You're not gonna depressurize it. I'm a friend. I'll protect you. You're both safe now.
not us, you know. What was the Republic doing here? See what happened. Don't call her a monster. What did the shark have to do with this? <laughs> and no one knew about this thing? Where is this monster fraction now? So what can I do about it? talking about can I do? What other choice do I have though? I like how he's just listening to everything. I'll do what I want. Kill both of you as well. 
I will try to destroy the harvesting machine. Oh, don't worry, everybody. We'll, we'll we'll kill them all in the next next time. Remember, if we're gonna do a light side dark side for each character we've made, that means Revan will become the butcher. Begin airlock sequence. First raising it, releasing airlock seals. Let's go. And you know it. So the, the episode that we do kill both of them is the episode we will murder for action. So which means we either gonna be doing a dark side for Revan next, or we're gonna be doing a light side for Sharda then, and then dark side of Revan. I want to show the both sides. Because I don't really know what happens with the Faraxon murder. Which I'm entirely intrigued to see. Access and the pressure control. I don't even say what's that? Oh, 4 million. 1, 2, 3, 4. Fuel injector is 1 out of 3. Container at one out of five. Fill injector. Transfer the injector. Fill injector. Transfer injector. Transfer the container injector. Um, I don't really remember the whole point of this one. I actually, I think I did the whole thing over wrong. Dump injector. There we go. That's right. It's supposed to be the first one. It's supposed to be. Two because four. Warning, warning. Container is probably unstable. Evacuate immediately. Mm. Yes. Hey, honey, I'm home. Look at that right above her. A giant square. It's not gonna kill me. Oh, come on. This thing is so bad. Dude. She is... Malevolent. Alright. Well, the other word, magnificent, I meant to say. So right above me, uh, right below me is the rift. Or the rift. Rift. Here we go. All the days and nights I've seen this, all right.
Also, I want to go back and talk to those two before we leave. Because <coughs> honestly, I've never gone back to talk to them. So, I'm wondering, though, what would happen if I actually got to run through not killing of them? Let me see what I gain on that. 2,000. And 15 higher for that, so it's 35 higher altogether. Now that the cultural harvesting machine, safety, o safety message object. Now that the Kolto harvesting machine has been destroyed, the Great Fraxen shows no signs of hostility and it allows you to pass. <laughs> I love that. It's just that point right there. It allows you to pass. You don't get a choice. You're, it, it allowed you. <clears throat> if you tried. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When you threaten great beasts' meals, mm, something goes wrong every time. All right, I'm nuts. And Dum Dum is gonna say, One is happy, the other is a freaking prick. Oh, come on. Aw, oh, is it because I'm not... No, did I just stop myself? Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, again. Yes. Darn it. I locked myself in a point. Alright, let's get close enough and then we'll click it. Close enough. All right, boys and girls, I'm coming to help you. God damn it. I poisoned myself. Oh, fine. I am a little confused on these two. Let me see some. Okay. Okay, okay, this one, again, 20 vitality points plus wisdom modifier, plus times two on the user skill and tree injury. And this one, it's the same thing. Why they're separate, I don't know. I'm gonna try it one more time. Okay, leave. Disengage. I mean, we gotta come back down. We have to come back down before we talk to him, right? I'm hoping so. I'm hoping I still have the key before I leave. I'm hoping I can switch my character before I leave. Because I want to come back and kill the crap out of this one.
Yes. There we go. But I have a feeling I lost my key already. Nope, cool. Ah. He survives this time. He's arrived this time. <sighs> the, your construction woke something up. A giant fraction shark that drove all the cell captains insane. A few scientists just survived. The harvesting machine was destroyed. Yes, I did. Yep. Five hundred credits, really. And I lost my key. <coughs> In about twenty seconds, I'm going to get arrested. Three, two, one. We will, we will, we will. Okay. And then returning. I'm coming. So, capital one people, I will not disrespect. <laughs> Very well, I will come peacefully. Uh, I'm gonna do the most evil thing, I'm just gonna leave the guy in jail. It's not going to be that hard, actually, sirs, and ma'am, and or ma'ams. Okay. Actually, I think I repaired it. Explosions 
we're at the research station both our governments set up there. Machinery had woken a giant Paraxin shark. There's only a legend. Quite the opposite. A machine that was making it drive everyone mad. Mm -hmm. I still have never told him yet. I still have never told him yet. I hadn't said anything. All I said was the machine was making it mad. <laughs> Boom. I'm sorry, but Revan's Dark Side's really not going to have the respect of the self cast. I'm just not going to lie. That's truth. Go talk to mom. That was it. All right, so I'm going to talk to Nilko. I'm going to send them down to a secret base in the Hacker Drift. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, I'm doing the problem again. I'm doing my problem. I'm quickly reading over it, not leasing. 
Smoothing. Not let, not letting it go through naturally. They couldn't. They lost contact with the science facility. They awoke a creature which fed on the culto. Oh, I destroyed the machine and saved it. <laughs> I'm telling one person. Creature's alive. Oh, Jesus. This is actually another secret thing I never found out. No, I mean, I didn't ever actually do this because I thought he was always evil. Jesus, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Okay, interesting. All right, well, let's go back to the hawk. You mentioned about your wife before. I don't mean to pry, but... That way you went to Kashyyyk. You worried about dark side at all? I don't want to hear more of what you have to say.
So, so what happened between you and your wife then? Why not, Yoda? Yeah? <laughs> well, you're at that now. Mm-hmm. Max out. Max out. All right, so I honestly don't think there's much left right now. I don't know if we could talk, perhaps later. Okay. Let's go check a little mission. Want to talk about your brother? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I got a little sis to be on the little, on my side. Hell yeah. Alright, I guess this will be the end of this episode. Holy crap, about 75 minutes. Alright. If you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, check out my channel, Zora42. Uh, you should know what the next episode is going to be. Yeah. It's going to be a, more likely a two part. Maybe three. Two. Majorly. Until then, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.